everybody, and thanks for joining me today for this episode of Foodie Friday. Today we're gonna to be making some of my favorite dishes. We're gonna be making Mexican chicken two ways. And at the end of this, we're gonna have a gorgeous pulled chicken that you can use on tacos, put on a salad, make burritos with it. And with the broth, we're gonna actually make a gorgeous Mexican tortilla soup. So stay tuned, grab yourself a glass of wine, and I'll see you on the inside. Hey everybody and welcome back to this episode of Mexican Chicken Two Ways. I'm your host Marnie Martin and today's recipe is going to start off with two chicken breasts. We're going to use a half a cup of salsa, about a tablespoon of chipotle sauce as you can see here. It just adds some beautiful heat and gives it a little bit of that smoky flavor that I love. We've got about a half a cup of cilantro. We've got about a quarter of a cup of jalapeno peppers, about two garlic cloves diced up. Then we're going to add in lime juice just to give it some nice bright acidity. And um, what I started with is I actually put some beautiful taco seasoning on our chicken breast. And I'm going to just take this piece of wax paper and put it over top. And if you have like a mallet or something, I don't. So I'm going to use this little bottle of wine and I'm just going to pound those spices in. Tenderizes the chicken nicely and also just adds, you know, gets that spice right into the actual meat. So we're going to start with our can of diced tomatoes. We're just going to dump those right in there. And this recipe is super easy, but what's great about it is at the end, we're going to end up with these beautiful tenderized chicken breasts that we're going to pull and make into this lovely pulled chicken, spicy, so you can put it into a taco, a burrito, onto an actual salad. And then the leftover broth that we've got, we're gonna put the second chicken breast back in there and make a gorgeous tortilla soup. So I've got those um, tomatoes in there. Now I'm just gonna layer in our chicken. And then we're gonna add in our salsa. Just gonna pop that right in there. And this dish is really, it's quite spicy but it's got a nice heat to it. It's not overwhelmingly hot. Cilantro is going in next. And for the cilantro on this one, I actually used a lot of the stems and a lot of people throw the stems away, but when you're making a recipe like this where you're not actually using it to look pretty, you just want some flavor, the stems work perfectly fine. And then you get to save all those beautiful leaves for your garnish later on. So then I'm gonna put in my jalapeno peppers and my garlic. And then we're going to put in a beautiful full teaspoon of this chipotle sauce, which is absolutely gorgeous. It's kind of like my secret weapon. It's just, it just adds this other level of flavor that I love. And probably about, I would say a quarter cup of lime juice. You want that to really help tenderize the chicken and add a nice bright acidity and a little bit of a punch to it. So what we're gonna do is just give that a nice stir, get everything kind of blended together. And I did season the, the chicken with salt and pepper first before I put the taco spice on. But this is kind of foolproof. Like as you can see, there's really not a lot to it. This is gonna cook down probably for about six hours on low. And uh, when we're done with that, you will see how amazing this chicken turns out and the broth just gets super yummy and we'll build the, the tortilla soup when it's all done. Okay, so we're back and our chicken has just come out of the beautiful sauce, um, which you can see right in here. Absolutely gorgeous. We're gonna give that a little stir. And the chicken is so tender and you know your chicken is done when it just falls apart. So if you look at this chicken here, you can see it's just like, it's just completely, ready to be shredded and comes right apart so easily. So it's just a pleasure to work with. So we're just gonna shred these guys up really quick. And like I say, this, this recipe is, you can make chicken two ways or three ways, depending how many people you're feeding. Um, this one, I'm gonna keep one of the chicken breasts for the soup. 
and the other one is going to go into tonight's dinner which is going to be tortillas so we're going to have tacos with beautiful um, shredded chicken meat here which is really spicy and delicious and I usually for that will take a little bit of the sauce and, and put it together here I'll show you a bowl just gonna scoop a little bit of this out. Not so much of the tomatoes, but just a nice juice. I'm just gonna put that in there. This really is a broth, very much like a soup. Don't need to too much. Just to kind of add a little bit of extra zip to this chicken. That is gorgeous. That's gonna be so good. You can put it on salads or make tacos or just eat it. It's so delicious. So that's bowl one. Oops. So that's gonna gonna reserve that for our tacos for later. Does that look good? Oh my goodness, it's so yummy. All right, now what we're gonna do is do the same thing with this one, and then we're gonna Pop everything back into this crock pot for just a little bit and let it work its magic with some new vegetables. And typically for this tortilla soup, I use this beautiful broth, which is mostly onions and tomatoes, jalapeno peppers, some juice from the chicken, lime juice, some chipotle sauce, um, obviously some salsa. So it's got all those good Mexican ingredients in there. And I usually um, put in some corn and some black beans and a few other little veggies. But today I don't actually have any black beans. So I'm gonna do something a little different. And that's one of the things that's fun about playing with a new recipe is you can, you can modify it. It's not life or death if you don't always have the exact ingredients. And so today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of refried beans. What that's gonna do is actually add some beautiful um, texture to the soup and some protein of course and it's going to make it a little bit creamy so you can have this soup really loose kind of like a broth or we're going to actually add that uh, refried beans in there and it is going to be gorgeous and add just a little bit more creaminess to it i'm just going to relocate here so you can see a little bit better what's going on there we go so we're going to start with the chicken right in there. I think we had one little escaper run off the side there. <laughs> Always one. Yes. See how that just fills that right up and it's just gorgeous. It's going to be almost like a, almost like a bit of a chicken chili really. That's where the beans would come in. We're going to add this corn. So it's probably about a cup of corn I'm putting in there. Probably about half a cup of this is celery. I don't normally put celery in this, but I just thought today it would add a nice little crunch and give it a little bit of texture as well. So we're gonna just get that all combined. And it is very much almost like a chili as it is now. So I don't wanna add too many of the refried beans, but we'll put a couple of tablespoons in. I'm just gonna add a nice flavor as well. And just kinda cream it all up. I love refried beans. So we're just going to give this a nice blend to get that, let that kind of work its way down into the soup. And then this is just going to stay right on low for probably another half an hour, 45 minutes, just to let all those flavors combine and let the celery go down probably an hour. Celery um, lose a little bit of its crunch and, and meld in there. And then this is really just ready to eat. And this is amazing. You can have this as a meal with a little bit of rice and some tortilla chips and a green salad, or you can just have it as like a soup and just take some tortilla chips and just crunch them up on top. And it's an awesome lunch for the afternoon. So there you have it. Mexican chicken two ways. This is going to be delicious. The other thing I love to make that goes super well with not only all taco dishes, but with this soup in particular, is what I like to call a cilantro lime cream. 
and basically I start with vanilla actually Greek yogurt and usually I use plain yogurt and then just add in a little bit of honey but today I didn't have plain yogurt so I'm gonna use a vanilla yogurt and it's probably about a half a cup we don't need a whole lot it's just makes it really fresh and then we're gonna put in probably about two to three tablespoons of cilantro that's been chopped up finely and you can use the leaves for this part and then we're gonna put in a little bit of uh, lime juice and it does need a little bit of that sweetness so if you don't if you are using plain Greek yogurt definitely add in you know half a teaspoon of, of uh, honey just to give it that extra little bit of sweetness and um, if you don't, I'm trying it with the vanilla and I think it's gonna be actually quite good with the vanilla yogurt. And you just mix this up and it is so fresh and you can smell it. It's just like fresh like the cilantro, beautiful citrusy lime. And when you serve your soup or your tacos, you can just put a little dollop of this in and it really cuts the heat back and it adds a beautiful kick of the sweet creaminess. So yummy. Hi everybody and thanks for joining me today for this episode of Foodie Friday. If you enjoyed this, please click the like and subscribe button right down below. And don't forget to head over to thebcwineshow.ca and sign up for email updates where I share tips and tricks and recipes and wine suggestions that I just don't share anywhere else. Thanks again. I'll look forward to seeing you next time. And in the meantime, stay well, be kind, and drink responsibly.